Hi everyone and welcome to my studio today. Now in today's uh, video I'm going to be uh, demoing a new product called Galaxy Glitter by DecoArt and it comes in a variety of colors. I think there's like 19 colors of glitter and um, I'm going to show you how I painted these beautiful glittery eggs. Who doesn't want some glittery eggs for Easter? Oh my gosh, these were wonderful. These were just eggs that I bought at Walmart. So um, it's a very easy process. I'm going to show you how I did that. Give you some tips and tricks on how to use the product and uh, some other ideas of how you can create different things with it. So I can't wait to show you this product. Let's turn around and get to my paint table and get started. All right, so you saw all my eggs at the beginning of the video, so I'm going to show you how I created these eggs. First, I want to show you the product that we're using and show you all of the colors that it comes in because, oh my gosh, I think there's 17. I think in my uh, opening I said there was 19, but there's 17 colors. Oh my gosh, I am in love. So in love with this product. Um, and you're just gonna love it too okay so we've got red nebula supernova berry um, deep space blue extraterrestrial green silver moon this one is clear ice comet you know how I like to use the uh, ice crystal in uh, most of my winter scenes well now I've got some bigger bling to use uh, aqua meteor I'm turning them upside down so you can see the color a little bit better. Um, Aurora Borealis Green. This is bl uh, Black Hole. Yeah, Black Hole. It's got some purple in it. Um, Milky Way Blue. Solar Flare Orange. Bronze Asteroid. Uh, Bing Bang. Gold Shooting Star. This one's Champagne. Pink Cosmos and Ultraviolet. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to put these out of the way so that we can, I can show you how I painted some of my Easter eggs up. Now, um, your Easter eggs, you can paint any old color that you want. Whatever color appeals to you, you can paint multiple colors on them. You, you can do whatever you want. They're your Easter eggs. Just be creative. So I've got a couple that I've uh, prepped, but I'm going to um, show you how I got it prepped. And then we can kind of decide which color glitter we got on there. So these are the eggs that I used. These came from Walmart, $1.98. They are a plastic egg. It says they're a 100% recyclable egg, so I'm not really sure what the plastic part is made out of. They are coated like with um, chalk paint already, so they're perfect for painting on. They come with dye, so if you really want to use them for your kids, they've got the uh, liquid dye already right there. And you can dye them, and they feel like real eggs. So only that they, they don't have the weight of a real egg. They feel like a real empty egg. Let me put it that way. So how I got this um, ready to go is I took a piercing tool, and I just have a Cricut piercing tool right here. You can use any kind of piercing tool. And I very carefully, on the end, put a hole in it, and hopefully I won't... Um, make a hole too big in this. I had one that the uh, plastic chipped or whatever these are made out of chipped. So I just kind of very gently wiggle it back and forth until I can get a hole in it. It's not quite centered but it'll do the job. And then I stick a toothpick in it to hold it. And I think I need my hole just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to work it a little bit bigger with this tool and stick my toothpick in there. I want my toothpick to be good and sturdy in there. I don't want it to come out or make my egg wobbly. And then I just stick them in a piece of foam. Now I had a really long piece of soft foam that I used for making a cushion. And that's what I used because I did all those eggs at one time and I had them all lined up on there. So I just stick it in here. So I've got these two eggs painted. 
Uh, one is uh, Chris Blue, it's a 2019 color of Deco Art, and the other one is Golden Yellow, which is also a 2019 color for Deco Art. And the colors are excellent, the coverage is just wonderful. So, let me give you a tip about using um, the Galaxy Glitter before we start applying it to these eggs. One thing you really need to have is separate water for your Galaxy Glitter. Don't use your regular water basin that you use for paint, especially if you're going to be painting and then using Galaxy Glitter. Um, the Galaxy Glitter is, let me grab one, it is suspended in a clear um, medium. It's almost like a varnish. Um, because you can use it right on top of anything you've varnished. You don't have to go back and varnish it if you don't want to. So it's a clear uh, medium. But the glitter really hangs into your brushes. Now this is the brush. You want to have a... Well, let me clarify this real quick. You need to have a designated brush for your glitter. Glitter paint, okay? So um, this is the one that I use for my glitter paint. Um, I, I want to use an older but still good brush because gl the glitter is going to be a little rougher on the bristles because it's larger chunks of glitter in there. So you want to have a, uh, a bigger brush, uh, an older brush, but still a good, decent brush, okay? And designated water, a designated paper towel just for the glitter, and... Um, Keep keep all of your items that you use for the glitter paint separate from your acrylic paint items, okay? And I think that will help you out a lot. So with this glitter paint, let me pick one out for the yellow. Um, let's do... Oh, that's silver. I'm looking for champagne. What do I do with my champagne? There it is. Uh, Champagne Stardust and Milky Way Blue. This is one of my favorites. My all-time favorite in this uh, is this Silver Moon. Oh my gosh, the sparkle in this is just amazing. Now, when you store these paints, I recommend that you store them upside down. So you can keep the glitter more down at this end of the bottle. So when you shake it up to use it, the glitters doesn't have to, you know, work its way from down there all the way up to the top. And you just get mostly clear liquid when you... Uh, pour out. You want the glitter to come out. So I store mine, oops, I store mine upside down so that the glitter stays at this end. Before you open it, give it a little shake, unscrew the lid to release the pressure in there, okay, and then you can squirt some out on your palette. So let me show you how this looks. Oh baby, look at that. Oh! I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, you can use your brush dry, you can use your brush wet. Either way works, but if you're going to use it wet, you want to get pretty much all of the moisture out of your brush and just have it slightly damp. Um, I use it dry the first time, I just go right into it, and then once I rinse it out, then I um, try to remove as much moisture out of it as possible. So I'm going to load up my brush. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. And we're going to be more laying the brush onto the surface and letting the glitter just come off of our brush onto it. And I will put every bit of this that I squirted out on here. Now you can put more than one coat on here. You can put, I have done up to three coats, and I will show you the difference between all of that. So I'm just kind of skimming it across there, trying not to, to lift or move, because it's in that clear, that clear medium. It um, can move a little bit if you go over it too many times. So I just try to get it on there where I really like it. I don't want to waste any of this that I poured out. You know, just pour a little bit out at a time and see how you like it. Smooth that out a little bit. Oh man, this is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to drop this into my water just for glitter. And I'm going to put this in here to dry. Okay, and move around to this one. I'm going to 
shake it a little bit, unscrew the lid to release any pressure. We don't want it to start squirting out as soon as we look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, and this uh, Galaxy Glitter works so well hand in hand with the Glamour Dust, which is a finer glitter. And they work very well together. You can apply one, apply the um, the Glamour Dust, which is the finer glitter, apply it first and then put this on top of it. And I will show you a couple of things that I've done that with. Now, see my my glitter is all going to the bottom of the jar, which is good. So when I go to dump this out, I dump it, I take my paper towel and I dump it through my paper towel and the glitter will all stay in the paper towel so it don't go down my sink. And then I can just wipe the rest of it out with a tissue or whatever. All right, let me put some on this one. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Gorgeous. This is the champagne. Champagne Stardust. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. But I'm I'm laying my brush flat as I apply it. Because if I if I do it like this, I'm up on the tips, then it just kind of pushes it around. This way it puts it on there and you can gently smooth it and just get some beautiful sparkle going on there. I wasn't sure I would like this product as well as the Glamour Dust because I am in love with the Glamour Dust, but this product really surprised me. I just love it. All right, I'm going to rinse my brush out. This is my paper towel just for my glitter brush. I'm going to squeeze out the water, and then I'm going to go like this because there is a lot of glitter in my brush, and I don't want it to get too piled up in there. So I'm going to go like this and get the loose glitter out. Now, I just took this to my sink when I was done and just washed it with some soap and some hand sanitizer, and the glitter all came out of it. And I used this for like three days straight before I cleaned it. So, I mean, I, I kept it rinsed so, you know, nothing would dry in it. But uh, there was still a lot of glitter in the bristles. And I used it for like three days straight before I cleaned it. So, um, you know, it, as long as you keep the brush clean, there's still going to be glitter in it. But the glitter, that once the brush dries, the glitter is just loose. And it will just come right out of the bristles. So that, that's a good thing about the product. Now, I'm going to bring in a few things that I have um, painted with this Galaxy Glitter and just show you some different things that I have done. It's been really fun. I've still got a lot of things that I'm playing around with painting. So I, I have a bunch of these um, little terracotta pots. And... Um, I thought they would be cute with some of this galaxy glitter in them so what I did was I painted this one it's got a couple of colors on it I think I use crisp blue and green Laguna on this one these are the 2019 colors from deco art I painted the inside because what I wanted to do was put like some Hershey kisses or something in it or some kind of wrapped candy if you're gonna put candy that is not wrapped you want to put a piece of tissue paper in there um, just so that the you know food is not against the painted surface. Um, so anyway, I um, painted it with a uh, stippling sponge. Just a stippling sponge. Put the blue down here, the green up here, and then I blended them together. And then I covered the entire piece with galaxy glitter, and I used um, Aqua Meteor on this particular one and these are just so fun to have as table fa favors if you're having a party you know and just just a lot of fun to have and so this was very easy you want to make sure that you put decoupage medium on your pot inside and out first so your paint will stick well to the clay pot 
and uh, then just paint away. Okay, so that is one idea. Uh, another thing that I did, I'm sorry, I got everything behind me on a table here that I've been working on, and many more things that I have yet to do. One thing that I did was I bought these, these are called ornaments, although they have a wire on them. I bought them at the dollar store and they have a variety of colors, pink and purple and yellow and green and red and blue. So I bought just about every color that they had. And then they also have magnets that are in color. So I took the wire off the back of mine, but I applied a coat of the, I think the Milky Way blue is what I used, just what I used on that egg. I put it on here and I cut the wire off and I hot glued a magnet on it. So now I have a magnet. But if you don't want to make it into a magnet, you can still keep it as a tag. Put some more bling on it and tie it to a gift bag. I mean, what a cute, cute idea. Dollar store. Okay, so this little paper mache ornament I had, and I had painted it black probably last year or year before last, I don't know, but I'd never painted anything on it yet. So I thought I'm going to try the Galaxy Glitter on this one. And the two colors that I used on this one, let me bring my paints up here. I used Black Hole, which is the black color. And I used, I believe I used the Milky Way Blue on this one too. Milky Way Blue, one of my favorite colors. But I, I just did one coat on here. Now, I wanted to test this Galaxy Glitter to see if I could paint on top of it. So I drew some eyes on here and a cute little nose and I painted right on top. I found the place on the ball that had the heaviest Galaxy Glitter because I wanted to see how it would do. And it did just fine. I painted right over it. You can't even tell that there's Galaxy Glitter underneath it. At least I can't tell. And then um, I varnished this with one coat of... I want to say I used satin varnish on this. I could have used gloss, but I'm not 100% sure. And then on the eyes, I put some of the liquid glass. Let me grab that. I put some of this on the eyes and let it dry. And was it turned out so cute. I was really pleased that I could paint right on top of that Galaxy Glitter. No problem at all. I do want to give you a tip about um, the Galaxy Glitter. That if you want to apply it in like with a top like this, you can do that. And DecoArt sells extra tops like this. I have some that I bought years ago at Hobby Lobby. They no longer sell them. I couldn't find them there. Um, but they come, They have little caps. I'm not sure where the cap is to this one. Anyway, um, you can just take the cap and put it right on your um, Galaxy Glitter bottle and use it this way. Uh, this hole is not big enough, so you would definitely have to cut the hole bigger um, to get it to come out. This one it, I cut way too big. Um, but you can use it that way, and I did use it that way on a project. So um, these tips, DecoArt has them. You can buy them separately. Or if you have some tips like this that you haven't cut a ginormous hole like I did in this one, um, you can use those. The thing of it is, is when you are done using this tip on here, you do not want to store the bottle with this tip. Okay, so you want to take it off. When I'm done using this tip, I take it off and throw it right in my water. Even if I'm still painting, I just throw it in there. That way the Galaxy Glitter won't dry in there and the water will keep it soft and the glitter can go ahead and fall to the bottom. I just throw it in there till I'm ready to clean my cup and then I take it to my sink and I use a Q-tip and, and uh, get all the glitter out of it. Rinse it till it's nice and clean and that is another good thing that you can do with your Galaxy Glitter. Another way to use it. Use it in... Um, I will have to see if I can find the ornament that I use that on. I think I might have it here on my table. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you is these paper mache stars that I painted. These again are with the new colors the 2019 colors of Deco Art. We have 
golden yellow, berry cobbler, and crisp blue. So with these, on this one I used Big Bang. Okay. This one I used, I believe it was Supernova Berry. Okay. And on the blue one, I believe I used the Milky Way. Milky Way Blue. Okay. So the difference between all of these, besides the, their color and their, their galaxy glitter color, is that this one has one coat of glitter on it. That's all. Just one coat. This one has two coats. You're starting to see a little bit more depth. And then on this one, I put three coats, and you can really see the depth. This is uh, varnish. Let's see, did I varnish these? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I varnished these with a gloss varnish. So they're pretty uh, shiny in the camera shot. But, oh my gosh, I wish you could see the depth that I can see in this, because it is just gorgeous. So you can see with one coat how it changes, two and three. Hopefully you can see that in the, in the camera as well as I can see it in front of me. Okay, another thing that I painted was I had this ginormous plastic, clear plastic ball that I got at, uh, I think I got it at Michael's after Christmas. And I had no idea what I was going to do with it. I don't usually paint ornaments this big. So what I did was I applied a coat of... I should have had all these products over here. Paint Adhesion Medium onto this ball. And then I painted it. I, I started to paint it with this color. This is a new color, Purple Petal 2019. So I did paint it with that color first, but I wanted more shine. So then I went in and painted with the metallic amethyst, I think it is. This is actually uh, Extreme Sheen paint amethyst. So I put a coat of that on here. And then it's got Black Hole and Milky Way Blue on one coat. And I just did it kind of, you know, hit and miss on here. I didn't want complete coverage on here. I just wanted a little bit of it in around the background, okay? Then I painted this just with my acrylic paints here. But I did add the... Um, Milky Way Blue onto the moon, and you probably can't see it because I varnished this with gloss varnish. I put the silver around the outside. I used my tip on the bottle and put little dots around the outside. And they flatten. It won't stay puffed up. It flattened out. And then um, put a little bit of the Milky Way Blue on the house and on the windows, which you can't see because the the reflection of the lights. Let me see if I. Turn it down. You can see it a little bit. I put the clear on there, which is the clear ice comet. I put it on the windows. So this was so much fun to paint. I really enjoyed it. So there is another option for your galaxy glitter. Okay. Another thing that I paint, I had lots of paper mache around my house <laughs> because I just seem to gather it up and, you know, it's like, it's everywhere. So, I made these little cones and I made them for the purpose of putting candy or a gift card in, hanging it up on the Christmas tree or whatever, but this one would work well for Valentine's Day if you wanted to fill it full of some candies and give it to someone. Cute, cute gift. And then I did one in green. I went all the way to the top on this one. On this one, I stopped and left like an edge. Um, this one, I brought the tape straight down. Now, the tape that I used is this, this kind of tape. I'm going to give you some trips on, tips on using tape on um, paper mache because you have to be very careful when you're using paper mache. And on this one, I just did the tape up here at the top, and then I did a stencil here. This is part of a Patricia Rawlinson stencil. And then I just did dots around the rest of it. And, it, you know, you can put a handle on these. I used, again, my little tool that I used um, to put the hole in the eggs. 
and you can uh, put a hole in it and make it a candy dish, you know, a candy holder, gift card holder, flowers, whatever. I don't know. When I was a kid, we made May, ba May baskets, and we would make them out of uh, construction paper and uh, fill them with flowers, put a little handle on it, and go leave them on the neighbor's doors. That is a lost art form <laughs> nowadays. People do not do that. So, um, you know, that's the first thing that came to my mind when I made these was May baskets. But people don't do that anymore. Now, this one I just did a bouquet uh, effect on it where you just take uh, a little dauber and um, you can buy a package of three of these through DecoArt. I used this one. I did a couple, the first layer I did with this size but then when I started using this size I liked it better for this and I just went in and just created dots and just kept layering how I liked it and I and the colors that I wanted and this again is uh, colors I believe it's the berry cobbler the crisp blue and I did use lavender because we don't um, the purple wasn't as dark as what I wanted so I did use the lavender in here. All of these cones I painted first with lamp black acrylic paint. I just used my uh, Dampen Artist Sponge and I painted inside as far as I could with the sponge and then I just took an old brush and really shoved it down into the into the center. You can see I didn't get all of this one but um, these other ones I got the brush way down in there and got them um, painted all the way down into the center. So that's what I did first. They were all painted black. And then I taped off with my tape. Now, to prep this stuff, you have to apply either some multi-purpose sealer, some decoupage, even a satin varnish. You need to apply that to it first because this is ultimately just paper. So um, you need to protect it. So I did that first. I applied two coats, especially to the outside. You can just do one coat on the inside. But I did two coats on the outside because I really wanted my tape not to stick to this, although it didn't help all the way. Um, painted with two coats of black paint, still with my dampened artist sponge, and then I wound my tape around it. So after you get your tape on there and you get it down, you make sure it's all the edges are sealed on it, you want to quickly apply a couple of coats of... Um, paint and I think with this one I just use Santa red or some kind of red and you just want to sponge it on just sponge it on so you can get a nice light coat on there okay if you start on this side by the time you get all the way around this side is dry so you can quickly add your second layer on there okay and your second layer should dry fairly quickly then you want to apply your galaxy glitter okay and this is Red Nebula. I believe this is what I applied to this one. I just brushed it on with a with my uh, brush that I use for my Galaxy Glitter. I just brushed it on. Then you need to remove the tape while the Galaxy Glitter is wet. So, and you just want to pull it slowly around, so slow as you can. Every single one that I did with the spiral, it lifted the paper. And I had in the black areas, not the red areas. It lifted the paper and I had to go back with my black and touch up in those areas. Every single one of them. This one, it did not. I don't know if it's because I was pulling down off of the uh, tip to remove the tape. That it, it didn't catch any of that paper. The, this one, I didn't have to touch up any of the black. It didn't, it didn't mess it up. But all the ones that I did the spiral, I had to do that. So just be aware that if you're pa painting on paper mache and you use tape to remove it before the paint gets completely dry, while it's still wet is ideal. And then um, just take it off as slow as you can, pulling it back on itself. And um, if you come to any areas where it's sticking, um, try to grab that paper so it won't tear off you know, a large piece. And then just go and touch up in those areas. I have not ever had one that has not peeled, but it's not been horrible to where I couldn't just go touch it up and once I varnished it you can't even tell. 
So these are some really great options for paper mache cones. Put a handle on this one. This would be a great take home gift for a birthday party. Baby shower, you could do this in baby shower colors. The same with these, you could do these in baby shower colors. And um, just, the sky's the limit. You can just be so creative. Okay, I wanna show you a few ornaments that I had already painted. But then I decided to come and add some galaxy glitter onto them. Some of them were varnished, some of them were not. So let me show you what I did. This one was varnished, and I added the galaxy glitter to the wings, the clear galaxy glitter, clear ice comet. And I applied, uh, I think I just applied one coat on here. I might have applied two on the top wings and just one on the bottom wings. But it is so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, this one was not varnished, so I applied, again, the Ice Comet on here. And try to get the bling where you can see it. They are blinged up. And then I varnished on top. So you can use this product before or after varnishing. I mean, it doesn't matter. This was already varnished, and I applied the Ice Comet here and on the... This one I applied the extraterrestrial green right on top. I did not go back and varnish. I just applied it right on top. Oh, so pretty. Now, this is the one I used the tip on. I, I used the big tip on. And I, I wanted to make this ornament look like it, was, it had been dipped into the, uh, the galaxy glitter. And I used the clear ice comet on this. I did the top part with just clear um, the ice crystal galaxy dust. So I did that on here first and then I, I used I put this tip on the bottle and then just I did it on both sides just kind of made it really dimensional on there really thick like it's just been dipped right into the stuff. Now this one was fun. With this one I took my palette knife and I scooped up I think I yeah I had already applied the um, ice crystal on this because this was an ornament I'd done several months ago and so I decided I wanted more bling on there so I took my palette knife and I just laid some on top of my snow areas and gave it more dimensional glitter I brushed a little bit on the snow down here it's really hard to see this one. Once it's varnished, the camera wants to pick up the, the varnish glare. There we go. So you can see my little snow areas. I, I just picked up a little bit with my palette and palette knife and just tapped it on there. And just it's right on top of the varnish. And I did not go back and varnish this. I just put it right on top. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to leave my lower camera on. I did uh, varnish after. Well, maybe I won't. Okay, so um, this one has, I believe I put Aurora Borealis Green on this one. Just on the tips of the stockings. And then I varnished over it. So it's still got its uh, blingy bling going on. So that's some way, that's another way to use it. If you've got something you've painted that's already varnished, and you think, oh, I should have put some of that galaxy glitter on there. Not to worry at all because you can still add your galaxy glitter. Now, this next thing I'm going to show you, oh, here's one last ornament I did. I just put it at the bottom down here. And I did not varnish this. This was already varnished. I did not re-varnish it. Okay, this next thing I'm going to show you is one of my favorites. Um, I'm planning on probably using it at New Year's, put a bottle of wine in. If I, you know, if you go to someone's house for a party, you want to bring something. So here we go. This is a clay pot I bought at Hobby Lobby. I have not varnished the inside of it yet. I haven't varnished this at all, period. So I used again my stippling sponge. 
I applied a coat of, I believe I used Traditions Naphthol Red on the bottom, and up at the top I just used Gray Sky. Just your acrylic gray sky. Okay? And I just kind of painted them, you know, just roughly to where I thought they might come together. I didn't worry too much about it. I just kind of kept it smooth I, and, and I just kept it down there at the bottom. And I, I did use, um, actually I used, I might have used this first, this sponge, to just bring it up and then bring that down, you know. Use a separate sponge for each color. And then, once those colors were dry, I came back with um, metallic, two metallic colors on here. Um, one was a red. I used metallic festive red and berry. Okay, and I um, just picked them both up with my sponge and covered that red area. And up here on the top, I used silver metallic up on the top. I use the metallic paints. If you don't have the metallic paints and you have the extreme machines, they work just as well. So um, either one will do. And then I took my sponge and had a little bit of each color on there and just kind of blended them right there where they met. Okay? And I let it dry. just painted the inside with black acrylic. Okay? Then I let it dry completely. You can see on the bottom where the metallic metallic this has not been varnished okay and then I applied one coat of ice crystal onto the whole thing and then when it was dry I, in the silver area I applied this silver moon oh my gosh I love this silver moon and on the bottom I, I uh, did supernova berry so I brushed on the silver actually I brushed on the supernova berry washed out my brush, brushed on the silver, and then I just kind of picked up a little bit of both color and kind of went back and forth to let them blend where they meet. So it was okay if some of the red came up in the silver, it was okay if some of the silver went down into the red. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous piece you can take to someone's house at New Year's. Um, you would probably want to varnish it, but I'm showing you that you do not have to varnish it. I use the metallic paints underneath this and then uh, the galaxy glitter. So it's got a nice um, shine to it and protection. So you don't have to varnish it, but you certainly can. And this one was so much fun. If you varnish it, then you might keep some of the glitter from falling off from your hands. So... Um, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. You can paint right on top of it. You can put words on it. Whatever you want to do. And let me see. I forgot to grab one of the items that I painted that I wanted to show you. So this is just a mason jar. And I did it kind of the same way that I just showed you how I did that. Now this is just a jar I bought at Michael's, so it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have like the word ball on it or cur or anything on it. It's just a smooth jar, okay? So this one I applied um, multi-purpose sealer to it, but you can do that or you can use the paint and adhesion medium, whatever you have on hand. And then I sponged on with this sponge the two colors. Um, Festive green and wild berry, I think, is what I used here. And I had to put a couple of coats on there. You might have to do three, depending on how how well your sponge lays on the paint. But um, two or three coats is not unheard of for glass. So, you know, don't worry if you've applied, you know, a couple of coats and it's like, I think I'm going to have to put a third. Because, yeah, you might have to put a third on glass just to get good coverage. And then I kind of let them blend together right here like I did on that other um, container. And then I applied the extraterrestrial green down here and the uh, supernova berry up here. Okay, now the lid was gold and I didn't want it gold, so I did metallic black pearl on the lid. It's not been varnished, I just painted it right 
on the lid. And actually, I think this lid had been, um, I think actually the whole jar had been primed white because I was going to do a farmhouse style. So yeah, you see it's white in there. I had taken it out to my husband's garage and sprayed, um, cleaned it uh, with alcohol and then sprayed white primer on it. So the inside of the jar looks white. So um, if you want the inside of the jar to look white and not pink and green when you look down inside there, then that's all you have to do. Uh, chalk paint will do the same thing. If you have chalk paint on hand, just uh, sponge on uh, a coat of chalk paint first and then put your uh, other paints on here and then you may not need to use as, as much paint. Um, and then I just painted a tag the same colors. You can do happy birthday, Christmas cash, you know, whatever. And then some jute glued around there, which I did a terrible job of gluing. But kind of gives you the idea and what a fun way to give money for a birthday or Christmas. I, I love to give uh, money to our grandkids for Christmas, and this is a fun way to do it. I try to think of something different and creative and fun every year to give them their Christmas money in. So um, this is a good idea to uh, do. And then the last thing I want to show you, I have many more things that I'm working on, but um, the last thing that I want to show you are these shoes that I painted up. And um, this was so easy. Again, I used this tape. Okay. Um, I did tape. I have a, a little bit wider of it too. So I taped off right here on the sole. Okay. I taped off here. And then I, add, I put my tape on for my stripes. Painted my red in here, which was either Tuscan red or Santa red, I don't remember. And then um, applied my uh, red uh, nebula on there and removed the tape here. Once this was dry, you have to tape off all this. If you don't want paint on any of this, you have to tape it off. I removed the shoestrings and I taped off everywhere that I did not want paint. I filled the inside with um, plastic bags. I didn't want any paint to get inside and then I taped around here and stuck it to those plastic bags so that it would not stick. I have a video of a pair of shoes that I did paint pouring on and I taped these up the same way. Every place that I did not want paint, I put tape on. Okay, it takes the longest to tape the shoes up than it does to actually paint the shoes, just so you know. But it's worth it. It's worth it to get some really cute shoes. All right, so once all the red was dry, I taped off on this side, on, on the red and white stripes. This was already taped off because I taped it all off at the same time, and then I painted the blue on here. Now, the paints that I used on here, actually I did not use acrylic paint. I used, um, oh my gosh, um, the name of those paints just went clean out of my head. Uh, they are the styling paints. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, couldn't think of those for nothing. Okay, so I used the red in the red area and the blue. Let's see if it says what colors they are. Um, blue, it just says blue and red. So I used the red and the blue here. But this was, this was all the colors I had, so I didn't have a gold. And I wanted my stars to be gold instead of white. Leaving them white would be gorgeous too. But I wanted to put some gold glitter on there. So I used the So Soft Yellow on... Um, Yellow hands, I think, is what it's called. I used it on the uh, stars, and I just used a stencil. So I just did my row of stencils on there. So that was easy peasy. And then I took the stencil off and just used a brush. I just used a round brush to apply my glitter on there. And I put two coats of glitter on the gold. And I can't remember if I took... I think I might put just one coat on here, but I may have done two. I, I just don't remember. But aren't those shoes just the cutest shoes ever? And the styling paint, it was the first time I'd used it. Oh my gosh. It just went on like a dream. Oh my gosh. It's not like your acrylic paint where your acrylic paint just soaks down into it and you have to keep applying paint and applying paint and applying paint or, you know, use the medium. And this stuff just goes on like a butter. 
but um, there are my shoes that I uh, did with my Galaxy Glitter blinging them up. I think they're so cute. Can't wait to wear them on the 4th of July. And um, that is all the projects that I have done currently with the Galaxy Glitter. And I am working, I'm still working on many projects. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I may post pictures of what I've done. And uh, there is one project that I've got in mind that I want to do that I probably will do a video on because it's going to be a really cute project and I think you're going to really like it. But um, there we go. We went from um, our gorgeous eggs, which these eggs only have one coat on them, but if you want them to bling more, then apply a second coat. And I did use the um, ice crystal first. I did a layer of ice crystal and then a layer of galaxy glitter so um, that on all my eggs to finish out your eggs because you have the hole there all you're going to do is cut a piece of ribbon you're going to put some hot glue right there and you're going to put each end of the ribbon right there if you want a bow to help cover up some of that hot glue go right ahead but you know I wasn't being that particular about it the glue didn't didn't take away from the bling so um, it wasn't a uh, factor for me to try and cover up that that glue but um, anyway that is this product in a nutshell for me um, I just love it I hope that you guys will get some and try it silver is my favorite color in this line and then of course you know I like to bling a lot of things up so this one is also a favorite of mine clear ice comet but all the colors are so gorgeous and so vibrant and so full of glitter and you are just not going to be disappointed and they work so well with the metallics and the extreme sheens and the glamour dust and you know and the glamour dust comes in a variety of colors so you can do you know the fine detail um, glitter with the glamour dust in whatever color you want and then get the extreme sheen or the galaxy uh, glitter that best goes with that uh, glamour dust just a, just a wonderful product I cannot tell you of course you know I'm the bling it up girl so anytime I can bling something up I'm a happy camper so I hope that you will get this product and give it a shot and have fun with it and create with it I can't wait to see what you create and um, let me know what you think of the product and give me some feedback on it and I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you give me a thumbs up. Please like and share my videos because I appreciate every one of you and I want to get as many people as possible doing decorative painting and paint on everything. So I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.